A group of students is aiming to raise $600,000 to help young adults return to their hometowns to vote this upcoming presidential election. The student representatives say they will use these funds to make transport arrangements so that about 1,000 students will be able to cast their vote. The arrangements will also include ferries to and from the outlying islands and subsidies for flights. Several youth associations have launched a campaign to raise 600,000 NT and arrange chartered transportation so that 1,000 young people can return to their hometowns to cast a vote on January 13th. There are many issues up for discussion in this election that young people care about. We cannot be absent from this election. As someone from Hualien, I am used to bus and train tickets being sold out and taking long journeys home. But it's not just about me. There are many students living in the east coast and in the outlying islands. For students in rural areas and for Indigenous students, returning home is a tough challenge that neither you or I can imagine. The students protest that tickets are hard to come by and that prices are high at more than 1,000 NT for a round trip. Their goal is to offer transport services one day before Election Day for the low price of 113 NT over 30 routes connecting north, south, east and west. The plan would include ferries to and from outlying islands and flight subsidies. Among youth voters aged 20 to 35, the past voting rate was not high, oscillating at just about 50 per cent or 60 per cent. If we get the 600,000 NT, we can help 1,000 to 2,000 students go home to vote. Besides the student-led program, the Taiwan High Speed Rail is selling tickets at a discount of 50 percent on 28 extra services for the winter holiday season, offering another option for students to go back home.